In Uganda, 15% of women give birth every year and 12% of the postpartum mothers are not using a modern contraceptive method. The survey conducted in 96 health facilities and 179 providers from five districts revealed that less than 10 facilities had the required standards of service for immediate postpartum family planning. We haven't yet reached that standard. For example, we found only five facilities out of 96 which had all what it takes, commodities, supplies, equipment and information to provide the family planning services for immediate postpartum family planning when women needed it. Although very few facilities were up to the standard that was expected, uh, they do exist and we need to understudy them and, and better appreciate what is it that makes them achieve that when others are struggling with it. So we are moving ahead with more studies that we want to do in terms of uh, better looking at those that have done well and those that are struggling to understand what are their bottlenecks, what are the opportunities that have made others do better. So there is so much more we are going to do. However, Professor Makumbi said there was significant training and improvement in the number of facilities with health workers who can insert and remove implants. About 90% of the facilities we were able to do that. And about 60% of the facility reported having somebody trained to insert or remove IUDs because those need specialized training. That's about 60%. So, which means we need to make sure, working with the Ministry of Health, as evidence generators, present this information, work with partners and identify those gaps. And then I'm sure the Ministry of Health and partners are going to work around improving uh, the training where it is lacking. The health experts say offering modern contraception services as part of facility-based childbirth care prior to discharge from the health facility increases postpartum contraceptive use and is likely to reduce both unintended pregnancies and pregnancies that are too closely spaced. The Minister of Health is hopeful this will help reduce the unmet need of family planning in the country and improve family planning coverage. 45% of all pregnancies are unintended and 62% of the 45 is in a teenage age. Teenagers have a lot of unintended uh, pregnancies. So when we strengthen family planning services, we are trying to address that huge burden. Meanwhile, the Dean of the School of Public Health at Macquarie University, Professor Roda Wanyenze, underscores the need for more research to inform policy on availing family planning services to the young people. You know, some of them are accessing them. There is uh, still not yet a clear policy direction in terms of the very young ones and the, and, and the package and approaches we should use to serve them. But they are sexually active and when they are, we need to provide that service. So that's one of the areas that we are going to dig deeper into and, and study more. And the information we can provide, but there is no policy uh, to offer family planning methods to that age group the older adolescents who are sexually active. So they are sexually active but without any protection and they end up getting pregnant. And uh, when they get pregnant with an unintended pregnancy, it becomes unwanted, they solicit for abortion. And uh, when they solicit for abortion, some of them die. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV Weekend Edition.